Hello everyone, Taki here. Today we're going to take a look at Yuzu performance on the GBD Win Max. Before jumping into the test, I do want to put a disclaimer here that I own all of the Switch games that I'm going to test in this video. This is purely a test of hardware capabilities and nothing more. The first game that I want to kick off with is Pokemon Let's Go. This was the other game that I was referring to yesterday that I wanted to test out immediately after getting the Win Max. I featured this game prominently in my Win 2 review, and even though the performance was decent, the only thing that was really playable were the battles and the random encounters. As you can see from the metrics on screen, the Win Max can easily handle this game with only a few minor hiccups. The FPS does fluctuate slightly, but it stays very near to 30 throughout. Just like the Win 2, the Win Max is able to handle battles and random encounters without issue, but there are stutters until you build out your shader cache. Cutscenes are also much more fluid on this device than they were on the Win 2. Even with the added performance, the device slows down while traveling around the world map just like it did on the Win 2, especially if there are a lot of other Pokemon on screen. I've purposely included footage for parts of the game that I had no shader cache for, just so you can see the stutters for yourself. The biggest difference, outside of the huge performance bump between the Win 2 and the Win Max, is the much lower temperature that the game is running at on the Win Max. If you do a direct comparison between both devices, the Win Max can run up to 20 Celsius lower than the Win 2 at the exact same point. Pokemon Sword is the second game that I wanted to test, and this also happens to be a game that outright just doesn't run at all on the Win 2. It doesn't really run that well on the Win Max either, but I did find a nice stretch of area that had playable performance for this video. Pokemon Sword is actually a pretty demanding game, and there are many points in the game that can lag on a real Switch, so it's understandable that the Win Max would struggle given how much work there still is to be done on the Yuzu emulator. The game is also not very stable on the Max, and I've experienced around 5 crashes just getting the footage that you're watching right now. Even if the emulator drastically improves, I think parts of this game, especially the wild area, are going to be out of reach for the max.
The third game that I wanted to test was Link's Awakening, and it also happens to be the game that ran the worst out of all the games that I did in this emulation test. The first big problem is probably very obvious to you, but the tilt-shift effect that this game uses is in the wrong place entirely, so it makes it really annoying to walk around the overworld. This problem doesn't exist inside houses, but the colors and textures are completely screwed up. I also want to mention that this game is running in OpenGL, whereas the other games in this video are all running in Vulkan. This was the only game that refused to boot with Vulkan on, so this title may end up improving with better software optimizations and drivers as time goes on. The last game that I wanted to test for this video was Super Mario Odyssey. I just want to mention that the other three games in this list were recorded with a screen capture device, but the clip that you are watching right now was recorded directly on the WinMax with OBS. The performance hit from doing this was around 3 to 6 FPS, so keep that in mind while you're looking at the FPS counter throughout this footage. This is actually a game that I spent a lot of time trying to run on the Win 2 without any success. The game required a ton of power and still never really broke above 25 FPS. The Win Max also struggles to run this game well, but there are a lot of pockets within each level that have really good performance. I am going to keep a very close eye on Yuzu updates and I will rerun this path in the future to look at our performance gains as time goes on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at Yuzu performance on the GPD Win Max using stock settings. Keep an eye out for other compilation tests in the future, along with my complete review within the next few weeks. If you have any comments or questions about the device, you can leave them below. Remember to like and subscribe. Happy gaming everyone, Taki out.